Hey guys, this is Raving Nova. Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, right where we left off. We are going to come down here, get hit by a bat, and find our first secret area right here. Die. Stop annoying me, peeping aisle. We pick up a mind up, and just for your guys' information, these peeping eyes right here drop a soul that allows you to see secret area. But their soul drop rate is incredibly, incredibly low. You will spend a long time grinding for their souls, which I will do later, obviously. And um, if you really want to find all the secret areas without missing any, I'd suggest grabbing that soul early on. So you can just go through the game with that equipped, and it'll be all good. Uh, as you can also see, we leveled up uh, again on that peeping eye. We have our level system, just like any other game. Uh, I think I forgot to mention that. And we are heading down here. Because we need this. Our first blue soul. The flying armor. We are going to equip this right here. And as you can see, falling speed slows down and jump distance increases. So if we press and hold it, we can do that cool thing and just drift. Yeah, see, there we go. And we can make these jumps with ease. And we will need this when we move up. So remember to come down here, guys. Not like you can go anywhere else without it. Let's travel back up these stairs. Whoa. How is that peeping eye still following me? And we can come up here. We're going to climb up here. I'll just... Yeah, I'm just gonna use that since he can't really hit me anyways stop running away coward and we're gonna head up here get rid of these crows and be careful you don't run into them watch out for this thing right here one shot will probably kill it so you don't have to try to you know jump over it or anything ridiculous like that and this is what we need the flying armor for as you can see we cannot we cannot make that jump we cannot However, I have heard that if you do a certain trick with a backdash jump, like, as you can see, you can sort of run off the edge and still jump. If you do it just right, you can make it without the armor, but why would you want to continue the game like that? We're just going to use the armor and get across. Over here, we pick up a potion and we get hit in the back of the head by a skull monster. It's actually a white skeleton. I have weird names for these, uh, white dragon, my bad. I have weird names for these, so, uh, if I say something and, uh, it's not exactly what it's called, I apologize. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Could you please move? Thank you. Whoa. I'm just getting torn apart right now. And I've gotta say, I kind of sort of play this game recklessly, so if you guys will bear with me while I, uh, take a few hits. Picked up a leather plate right there. And, uh, let's check it out. I have a feeling, yep, that is gonna be useful, so we are going to equip it. Now, I'm actually not gonna go up there right now. Uh, as with my other LP, I'll just be doing the map my own way. I'll try to minimize, <laughs> minimize, minimize, uh, backtracking, but in this game, I'm sorry to say, it's inevitable. There is a lot of backtracking in this game, but I'll try to save as much time as I can. Of course, back here we got our peeping eye in the window, just like any other Castlevania game. That cannot hurt you, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, it's it's nice to see that over and over again. We have a real one that, that actually can hurt you. I'm gonna get rid of him, and just go through this long, 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 long corridor. You can see this basilard is really handy. Ow. That guy was camouflaged into this statue right here. Didn't even see that thing. Again, up there we will cover later. So any hallways or stuff like that that I skip, it's because we'll, we'll get back there. It's just tear our way down here. Run away from those zombies. Get back here. 
Didn't want that guy to walk off screen. That bird is interesting, because you can just walk right under it. It won't do a thing to you. But you probably want to kill it anyways. Watch out. And those guys hurt. So you got to watch out for those rock armors. One thing I don't like about certain souls is you have to be standing up to use them. So you can't duck and throw a spear like I wanted to do right there. And we took some damage, but that's okay. This weapon up here, we cannot get right now because we cannot fit into that tiny hole. But we'll be back for that, even though it's going to be useless by the time we get it. But first of all, I guess we'll have to explore down here. By the way, the graphics in the backgrounds in this game, amazing. I love them. As with most Castlevanias, very high quality. We're going to come down here, and this looks exactly like that first uh, hallway we entered, but obviously it's not. Whoa, watch out for that. Hey, that was not cool. But we did pick up a combat knife, and I'm curious as to if that's any better. Yes, that is, by quite a few points. And, you know, since we're used to such a tiny range, should not be a problem. Look at that thing. Just murders. I'm picking up some good weapons. Of course, with everyone else, um, it'll depend on luck. Because the weapons have certain drop rates as well. There's common, uncommon items, stuff like that. And all we came down here for was $500, which we cannot even use yet. But... Don't worry, the money will come in useful later. I'll be spending a lot of it on potions and stuff like that. Once we get uh, the ability to even spend our money. But that's really soon, so don't worry about that, guys. Unfortunately, as you see, we have to backtrack our way up here. Like I said, this is just one of those games where you have to backtrack. But hopefully it won't be too painful, and if it comes down to a lot of backtracking, I'll just cut it out, but what have we here? Another stranger as equally sketchy as Genya Arakato. Hello there. Hopefully. Graham. A missionary. Hmm. Nope. Not sure at all how that happened. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? And he says that so casually. It most certainly is! And he's gonna explain some of the story to us. It's true castle exists elsewhere. And we are in it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Soma's a real down-to-earth guy. I like him. Doesn't even believe in vampires. Dracula has been re Yeah, you can say that again, mister. And every single time we were there. Oh. For once he hadn't been resurrected. I wonder who we're gonna fight at the end of this castle then. Because isn't that the point of every Castlevania? Some prophecy. Alright. So, yes. That... They did now. See, the thing is, we haven't gotten that game yet, which is really interesting, because I'm looking forward to what happened in the year 1999, guys. And yep, we are in the eclipse. Oh, what's this? In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle, and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Better get going. Be careful, we sure will. But yeah, that was strange if I do say so. Wonder what that was all about, hmm? Hmm, we'll have to find out later. But first, we get our first taste of the chapel. Full of ghosts, very annoying. And up there, we can head up there, but not right now, because, uh, we're getting close to the end of time, so I'm just going to head over to the next closest save point, even if I do have to take a few hits to get there. 
As you can see, we have this huge, huge room right here, which we are going to explore next time. But for now, since we've reached the save point safely, we're gonna we're gonna call it right here. I'm gonna save. And that'll be it for this time. Next time, we further explore the chapel and uh, hopefully find out more about that strange guy named Graham. But that'll be it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Raving Nova out.